Welcome back to Deponia. So last part we went to the gadget shop and got us a few items which I believe we will need soon. And so the next part is we're still trying to join the resistance but we're kind of gathering some more information right now in order to convince baby girl here. Look at that face. So innocent looking. Let's talk to a nod here and see if we could get anything useful. Excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? Oh wow, look at this option. Let's, let's try these ones first though. I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like, for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, unorganized crime. What is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'm a gifted tinkerer. Really? So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Yeah, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I'm very resilient. I can fall from a tower two miles high into a pile of syringes without taking any damage. Remarkable. And can you juggle balls on your nose? Oh, really? I'm a daring adventurer, not a circus ocelot. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. Ah, he said the same thing at the end there. Yeah, right? Rufus is like an immortal after that fall in the uh, needle. <laughs> I am so incredibly cool. Just how cool? I'm so, like, laid back that the back of my head, like, is almost touching the ground. Yeah. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not wrecked. And I'm a good listener. You are? That sounds interesting. They call me the ear. You know, there's this story that I've always wanted to... Eagle ear, master of sound waves. But my story... Listening his opponents into the dust. Uh, forget it. What? Did he, did he say something? <laughs> That's so funny. I certainly am reckless enough. I know you're not. But how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless, like shave Donna's cat, for instance. If that's all. Uh, that wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right... M uh, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. He goes the right mind. We've seen that. Um, hmm. I'll I'd... soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. So we're done with that, so let's try this. So, what does the Organon think of your organization? This is the floating black market, kiddo. We don't care what the Organon thinks. So, what about that Organon official right behind you? What? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Mm, say, where's your pal? Wink, he's got in our secret hideout. Even though he's not really qualified, blind as a bat in his right eye. And the right eye is the important one, after all. Huh? Who says that? My mama. Why? <laughs> hey, do you also like to play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Unfortunately, I left my tournament fingers in the hideout today. Oh, that's a cute guy. I'll get back to you. Whatever. Nice, we got a, a hand, so we gotta go to his hideout. Which, uh... Let me talk to him one more time, guys. Let me see. That's one of the guys I beat up outside the city gate. I'll have to be careful. Excuse me? Hmm? You again? I would really love to join you. Don't be ridiculous. Could you possibly have the... I'm trying to see what is his hideout. 
Hmm. What was that you wanted me to do to shave Donna's? No, no, no. I told you not to shave Donna's cat. That'd be extremely dangerous and stupid. Ha <laughs> ha. Danger is my middle name. And stupid is my, uh, um, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I want to say family name to Rufus, but that'd be kind of mean. <laughs> okay, I I'll soon be part of your organ. Ah. I think that's it. I'll get back. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Let's go explore the town and find the secret hideout in order to get the tenement finger of his. Sounds very logical. Everything makes perfect sense, doesn't it? I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for watching all your support. Okay. Ooh, tenement hand. Look at this. It's a lucky day. Let's see here. That must be one of those genuine tournament hands for professional rock, paper, scissors. I have got to get on board that submersible. Ooh, new hand. Possibly. Ooh, yes, finally. Yay. Let's see what we have, what we have. Get inside the cockpit. Cockpit. Excuse me. Become member of the unorganized crime. Shave. The kitty. <laughs> okay. Get on board of the submarine. Alright, that's what we need to do next. Take a look, see what we have to offer around here. Map, tournament hand, question mark, and periscope? Well, let's, let's go check out the periscope. Oh, I think this is the entrance. Can it be that easy? Hey, you! Why are you sneaking around here? Do you mean me? Of course I mean you. Or do you have an invisible buddy with you? Ha! Huh. If I had a buddy with me, he wouldn't be half as invisible as I am. Because I move as inconspicuously as a ninja. Hey! Ah, no way. The way you stomp around, I would notice you even if you were hidden using the golden dragon of invisibility from Gilligan's gadget shop. Ha! A real ninja doesn't need gadgets. I can dissolve into thin air with my secret stealth powers any time. Then please do that. I don't want to see you around here again. Understand? Oh, I feel like we might have got the order a bit off there. I think from this point we will head to the gadget shop. Ooh, look at all this. Okay, we need this hand icon. Maybe? I can click it. Oh yeah it is. Look, now we the, have the golden dragon of invisibility. Which we already have. Or we had actually. All we have left is this to work with. I feel like I'm being watched. Oh no, I can't while someone's watching. So let's try tinker it with this maybe. First, I should decide on which side to put the lens. Are we gonna put it on the left side? Cause that guy is left eye. Uh, left ring. Nice. Hmm. Why haven't we missed this up, I wonder? <laughs> huh. Let's see how well he can see me now. Oh, wow. Nice way in. What we have here? Go to radio room. Well, looky here. If that isn't a radio station, what have we here? Slides of some sort. Probably the plans of unorganized crime. Let's see what those clowns are up to. 
Wait a minute. Nothing but scribbles. Somebody smeared finger paint on this. But that's... Hello? Wink, please come in. Uh-oh. There's a radio message coming in. Wink, answer me. Wait a minute. I know that voice. I bet it's Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station. Wink, are you going to pick up or not? This is Cletus. I mean, it must be Cletus. Of course, Gold's fiancé. Well, ex-fiancé, actually. He appears to have survived the crash of the escape pod. But what has he got to do with unorganized crime? I better answer this. I'm great at imitating voices. He'll never catch on. Hello, Cletus? Wink, is that you? Why are you talking so funny? I'm not talking funny. I sound exactly like Wink. A phonetically trained ear would hear that right away. Stop blabbering nonsense and get to the point. You know good and well that time is running out. Tell me, have you been able to track down my fiancé? Ex-fiancé, you mean? I mean goal, my fiancé. Wait, I've got the picture you wanted. You can print it as a slide. And here's a picture of the cartridge that holds the ascension codes. Ascension codes? Uh Uh-huh. That nincompoop is tough. He's not giving up. Excuse me? My income group's not enough for living it up. That should be the least of your worries right now. Do you need any more materials? That was pretty quick thinking on Rufus, (laughs) changing the words like that. It actually makes sense, too. Where are you, anyway? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah. (laughs) Good question. (laughs) Why, I wonder. Because of the handover later? My answer would have been more plausible, but yes, exactly. I'm in an organon blast tower directly on the cruiser route to Porta Fisco. You'll find the coordinates on the next slide. But let me know in advance when you're going to show up here, or the organon will see to it that your submersible never sees the surface again. Do you get that? When do we have to go then? Sometime. Why do you need those ascension codes again? But I already told you! Yes, but your pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired. Ugh! I'll explain it to you just one more time! Ugh! The last high boat will be leaving Deponia from Porta Fisco in a week. So if I don't have the ascension codes by tomorrow, I won't be able to get back to Elysium in time! Now that would be a disaster. You said it. Actually, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but I'm doing so anyway, because I know about the importance of motivating underlings. For reasons that are really none of your business, I must tell the Council of Elders in Elysium that Deponia is uninhabited. An awful lot depends on that. Everything else is insignificant. (laughs) Right. Ulysses, the Organon's prime controller, takes no risks. If my report doesn't reach Elysium in time, he will see to it that Deponia is indeed uninhabited. Say what? I mean, uh, <coughs> what did you say? The Organon has the means to turn the entire area around the Rust Red Sea into a desert. If I haven't got my hands on the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, they will drop a bomb from this blast tower. As a result, all life on Deponia would probably be extinguished. This slide provides the proof. But then you would be dead too. Oh, bravo. You're beginning to see why it's so important to me to get gold back. I hope you'll be sufficiently motivated now to find her. Cletus, out. Uh, j- just, just a moment. I, w- 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 oh, blast it. What do I do now? If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. Looks like it all depends on how fast I can bring Goal around. In other words, on my charms. <laughs> it can't be so hard then. <laughs> I think the world is the... <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a little sign here. No dogs allowed. And underneath is a cute puppy who isn't a member of unorganized crime. Normally, I ignore any sort of warning sign. But hey, that puppy is really cute. Hmm. Okay. Hey, did we grab the slide? Hello, Cletus! Rats, he isn't answering. Oh, I guess the... Oh, here it is. Okay. If Cletus doesn't get the Ascension Codes by tomorrow, then all life on Deponia will be eradicated. But if he does get them, all of Deponia will be destroyed. I have to beat him to it somehow. 
What a mission to save the world. I wish I could click on the exclamation mark. Actually, it, it goes away when I click on it though. We are on board now. Uh, I pretty much did all that. Hmm, become a member. Okay, by the button. Kitty. Kitty! Oh, how cute! Okay, well, um... Uh, Boogie! This screen is a very good example for how you can cleverly exploit gaps in your concept during production and even get a few nice funny situations out of it. In fact, um, I failed to write a proper puzzle for applying to the unorganized crime syndicate when we started and Micha was forced to sketch the room nonetheless. What was supposed to happen here until that point was all half-baked nonsense and on top of it there were certain necessities like for example hiding plans. But uh, what item or hotspot was that supposed to be was totally unclear to me. Plans were plans and so on. The first draft of this room was utter bullshit, but miraculously beautiful things started happening when we uh, tried to fill it with life. Like for example the idea of shaving the kitty or the job interview minigame. And I especially like how that plays well with the logic behind it and all. Uh, despite the widespread hate for minigames, I personally uh, like minigames, just in case I didn't mention that. Um, John, did I mention I hate minigames? I mean that I like minigames? I like minigames. Did I mention that I like minigames? I like minigames. Tell me, John, did I ever mention just how much I like minigames? I like minigames. Do you like minigames? I like minigames. Did I mention that? I like minigames! Oh wow, that's a, okay. I got mini games down in my head. <laughs> um, so he mentioned, and the other guy also mentioned about shaving the kitty. Let's try it. <laughs> shaving the house cat of a criminal syndicate would be really extreme. So extreme that they would be guaranteed to make me an honorary member. Well then, let's do it. Huh? What's this? This is stuffed. Then where's the real kitty? Ah, well, who cares? Uh-oh. What have you done? The boss really isn't gonna like that. We'll see. Boss! Boss! Here comes the boss. How's my hair? <laughs> what a question. Perfect as always. What? Who? What's all this about? I mean, where's the boss? Somewhere behind this mad woman? <laughs> I caught an intruder. Oops! Aw, oh, poor kitty. Good kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. This little dipshit shaved kitty. What do you want us to do with him? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. But she's only twitching. Th this lady suffers from ticks. <laughs> well done. Now you've really ticked her off. So, any last words? Oh, wow. Well, what did she say? Isn't that obvious? That I'm being pardoned? <laughs> what? I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Got me there. Mercy! <laughs> <laughs> right. Will you please tell me now what that winking means? <laughs> Guess. Hmm. What? That I'll be made into shark food? <laughs> Bravo! You guessed it! Yippee! Oh. It's not going well. Maybe I maybe? want to make Donna an offer. <laughs> Donna says no. 
I have another offer to make. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. I think we're out of the option. Did we? Yeah, we did. Oh boy. Go ahead. A quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer. <laughs> Donna agrees. Hey, no, wait! It's not too late to be friends! Say bye-bye, Rufus. Uh-oh. That wasn't pretty. Oh, wow. I guess that didn't work out. Oh, my. Okay. Well, I guess we're heading back to try it again. I believe that was actually a meeting game. Yeah. And I think we're supposed to um, choose the right dialogue, I believe. Alright, let's try this again. Here we go. <laughs> I wonder if we have to do Shave the Kid and all that. I don't think we do. Do you really want to skip the minigame? Oh, uh... Let's see... Well, what happened if we skip it? I, I don't, I don't want to skip Go ahead! A actually. quick and painful death is better than having to endure this farce any longer! <laughs> Donna says no? What, I'm being pardoned? Are you serious? <laughs> Now you have me confused. Are you being serious or not? <laughs> huh, she nodded. Did you see that? Yeah, but I can hardly believe it. Apparently, that means that you are now one of us. Congratulations, uh... Rufus. Rufus, right. There's not many that make it. Two so far. How did that happen? To be honest, I have no idea how that, how this part worked, but I'm glad it worked out. I really had no idea. Maybe if, if we choose the X, it was, would have been the wrong choice, maybe? Well, let's see what we... Oh, now, all oh, these had check marks now. Well, we shaved the kitty. Um... Okay, let's see. But talk to me. When do I get my own stocking mask? Yo ho, yo ho, unorganized criminals, yo ho. Okay. <laughs> now I understand why their syndicate is called unorganized crime. It's completely cuckoo. <laughs> completely unorganized. All right. Let's talk to uh, Donna. Hey Donna, any jobs for me? <laughs> well, I'm afraid it'll have to wait. I have my own mission. How about the button? Oh, I can't press the button. Oh. Oh, the bridge. Oh, look at this. All right. Finally, my own tournament hand. Oh, sweet. All right, now we could go back talk to Gollum and do some rock, paper, scissors, I believe. Nice. All right, so this will be the end of this part then. And when we come back, we will proceed back to Gollum and maybe do some rock, paper, scissors. Thank you so much for watching all your support. You are amazing. If you enjoyed this, be sure to click <laughs> on the button below. Uh, I thought she said something. To uh, like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep on playing. Have a good day.